Papa Pepper here with another episode of the Wild Man's Wild Friends. This is one of my favorite snakes. This is the black rat snake, Pantherophis obsoletus. Um, technically, this is the longest, officially, the longest snake in North America. Um, I think eight foot five inches was the longest. They're a beautiful snake. We had them up in Wisconsin, but in Wisconsin, they were actually a, a threatened or endangered species, which meant two things. One, you wouldn't see them as often, and two, when you did find them, you wouldn't want to get caught with one in your possession. Even if I was to take this one back up to Wisconsin right now, if I got a DNR officer that found me with it, I'd be fine, because it's a native species there, and they can't uh, you know, determine the place of origin. And since it's protected there, you're not allowed to uh, have them there. Now this is actually the most widely distributed uh, rat snake in North America. It spans a lot of the uh, eastern half of the country and there's even some isolated populations up in uh, Canada. One thing I like about them is the beautiful belly color. It'll start out white, go white to black, kind of head black to uh, red, and then eventually just go completely down to black. This one's a pretty big one here. They're an excellent climbers. And I'll show you just one different one with a uh, slightly different color pattern here. So, this one is a lot more red on the belly. Um, kind of that nice peach pink color. Um, they are pretty um, defensive. If you grab them, often they'll bite you. Um, that's what that guy was doing when I first had him there. Um, they're excellent climbers, like I said. They'll feast on all sorts of stuff, small mammals, um, birds, they're big egg eaters. And uh, they actually lay eggs themselves. So they'll have up to uh, about 20 eggs. And uh, the juveniles are kind of more gray with a dark pattern. If you spread out this stuff, you can almost kind of see the pattern still on this one. But these are a beautiful big snake. They will cause problems for uh, homesteaders and farmers, but they also do, as you would expect with a name like rat snake, they take care of a lot of the rats and rodents that you'll find. So they're uh, not entirely bad to have around if you know uh, kind of where they are and what they're up to. And you keep them out of your, uh, your animals. Um, with them being such a beautiful big snake, I think it's really cool. I used to have some pythons and stuff like that, red-tailed boa. So to have a wild snake that you can get, you know, being like that big, I think is just incredible. And uh, I really enjoy, enjoy being able to see them quite frequently down here in Arkansas. So that's one of my wild friends, pop out.